congratulations, Joe. Uh, and on behalf of the Cleveland Browns, we want to celebrate your incredible achievement by presenting you with your Legends jacket and officially welcoming you into the class of 2022 Cleveland Browns Legends Club. This is an incredible honor for me to be able to be in front of the greatest fans in all of pro sports. Absolutely the best memories of my life were made in front of all of you. And I think the greatest honor that any professional athlete can have is not winning a Super Bowl or a championship or getting into the Hall of Fame, but it's being able to say that they played their entire career in front of the greatest fans in all of sports. Thank you. I think it's time to go fishing after the Browns get this win.
it. Well, it's on the, it's on the, the defensive back room. Five yard pass here. Seventeen, and we fucking lost the game with a minute forty seconds left. <laughs> fucking joke of a team. Joke of a team. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I was at the game today. You guys will be seeing the video soon. This was the worst Browns game defensively that I have seen in a while. This is the worst loss I've ever seen as a Browns fan. When you guys see the video, the entire mood of that stadium went from pure ecstasy when Nick Chubb scored that third touchdown to just pure dread in a matter of a minute. I don't understand why in God's name the Cleveland Browns decide to ruin Sundays. They find new ways to ruin my day every fucking week. They don't, I don't, seriously, I don't understand why it's so goddamn hard. It's not like you were playing Lamar Jackson or Tom Brady. You were playing Joe Flacco. You were playing the New York fucking Jets. You were playing the New York Jets. Joe Flacco, 37 years old, running around the backfield, around the pocket. No pressure at all. Jacoby Brissett played his fucking career game. He missed one pass in the first half. Miles Garrett, one sack, one tackle. 
comes out pro scheme after you get your ass kicked. Blames the fans for booing, saying that we gave up on them. That booing, oh, it hurts his feelings. Fuck you. Fuck you. You are one of my favorite players, man. The fans love you, but fuck you for saying that. Do your fucking job. You sucked. After that sack, you fucking sucked. I don't understand. Grant Delpit, I don't know if it's Joe Woods. It should be Joe Woods. It's a coaching error. But for the same thing, three years in a row, miscommunication in the backfield of the defense. Our safeties don't know what the fuck they're doing. Three years in a row, it's been the same fucking issue. And we've had multiple safeties back there. I don't know if it's John Johnson or if it's Grant Delpit, but... Somebody is fucking up, and every time that they get beat over the top, it's always Grant Delpit who's being the one that's being burned. I don't know how. Martin Emerson played like shit today. He gave up a lot of yards to Garrett Wilson. Our offense was really good today. Nick Chubb had three touchdowns. And now I've seen people on Twitter talking about how Nick Chubb should have gone down to kill the clock. You're still up two scores with a minute 30 seconds left. Your defense needs to hold them. Mike Prefer should be on the hot seat as well. Special teams look like shit all game long. When your offense scores 30 points, you should not lose. The only solace that I have is that Everybody else in the division lost, and right now the Bengals are losing to the Cowboys. But instead of being 2-0 and and leader of the division, we're 1-1. One and one. I don't understand. I just, I can't. I have so much anger... Built up inside of me. I will. Sh when you guys watch the the vlog of the stadium of that game, I just don't understand. I don't. It's been the same thing week after week. We did the same thing in Carolina. Grant Delpit gave up multiple big plays over the middle and over top. Did the same fucking thing to Joe Flacco. And that Thursday. We're playing Mitch Trubisky and the Steelers. How the fuck is that going to go? I don't know. I don't know. I would have been more confident if we were 2-0. and We won the game 30-17. to Hey, offense looks pretty good. Our offense looks okay. What about our defense? Everybody was saying our defense was going to be carrying us through the 11 games that Jacoby Brissett was not going to be good enough, but he'll be okay. And our defense will be the, the people that, that, that carry us, right? Look what happened today. This fucking team, man. Because somehow, someway, figures out ways to just ruin Sundays. Because now, the entire next week, the next three days, are going to fucking suck. Because I'm going to have to talk about this shit and relive this shit. New York Jets, you get to be the real winners of week two. Congratulations on that one. You guys are the real winners of week two. You guys are one of the teams. Congratulations. You made it to my real winners of week two. We also deserve it because our fucking fan base decides to have a massage table on the Muni lot with no happy endings and a fucking erectile, a, 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 a dummy that has an erection on a massage table. Classy fucking job. That's the fucking Browns fans right there. That's the sect of Browns fans that can't, I can't fucking stand. This team ruined Sundays. They did it again. They found, they found a new way to ruin Sundays for me. Fuck Joe Woods. Fuck Mike Prefer. I'll see you guys Sunday. Go Browns. Whoop-de-fucking-do.